Hello, Nancy Forster here from the National Emotional Freedom Techniques Training Institute. I'd like to share with you one of the techniques that we use in conscious EFT. When we have a client who has uh, some sort of a history of trauma, whatever that trauma is, it could be personal trauma, it might be family trauma, perhaps cultural, uh, historical, global, all kinds of traumas that really all of us are carrying this trauma residue around uh, in our bodies and in our beings. And when we're not in this present moment right here, right now, this present moment where safety is, this present moment where we're capable of connecting to our external environment, where we can look out and see the trees and, uh, and feel the our bodies sitting in our chairs and really know at a very uh, cellular level that we're safe here in this moment. It's helpful when we can help clients differentiate between that experience of being present in this moment and the only other possibility which is that they are in the trauma residue. Those are really the only two options. We're either in this present moment or we're under the influence of the trauma, as we say here in the trauma residue. And so it's very helpful to just help clients to notice which of those is true for them. No shame, no judgment with acceptance. And to let that noticing it go along with the conscious EFT tapping to help that nervous system come back into a place of balance. So if we think of Dr. Dan Siegel's hand model of the brain, you know, where this is, this is the spinal column coming up into the primitive part of the brain here. This is the emotional, the limbic system. And then here's our, uh, our thinking, our rational, our neocortex. And when we're with the trauma residue rather than in the present moment, what's happened in Dr. Siegel's language is we flipped our lid. That is to say, the communication between the parts of the brain is no longer flowing optimally for a human being. And so combining the two things, combining some very simple tapping with this noticing that we're in the trauma residue very effectively starts to bring the prefrontal cortex where the noticing is starts to bring it back online with the other parts of the brain. So it would just sound like, even though I'm under the influence of the trauma residue right now, I love and accept myself in this moment. And we would just go through the conscious EFT protocol in order to help that nervous system come back into this present moment, which of course is where the magic happens, right? Then this present moment is where the change is actually possible. Hope you find that helpful. Bye for now.